So, originally, this video was supposed to be way longer. I originally had like a 30 minute uh, minute cut of this video, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me think about this shit a little bit more. Let me think about this whole PS5 announcement way more. And the bottom line is this. If my little degenerates ask me, Mr. Degenerate, are you going to purchase the PS5 Pro? And the answer is simple. Yes. Yes. I'm like Virgil. I need more power. Power is all I need. All I want. That's the only thing I want is power. That is the only thing I need in life is power. So I see something that's more powerful. I'm going to get it. Even if it's just the slightest detail, I'm going to get it. I did the same thing for the Switch OLED. When they were like the screen was slightly better looking. I, I sold my Switch and I bought it. When the, when the Xbox One X came out, I did the same shit. The only one I didn't do it for was the PS4 Pro. But now I'm doing it for this. However, there's a huge disclaimer on what I'm saying. I will be buying this. But I have no intentions of getting it anytime soon. And the simple reason I say this, and I just have to be honest, is that PlayStation did a horrible job at this nine, almost 10 minute presentation by Mark Cerny, the architect of the PS4 and 5, had him come out with his soft spoken voice talking about the graphics are going to look slightly better because we have um, AI upscaling. Uh, we're using DLSS, our own version of DLSS. And, and, and we're going to have better ray tracing. And, 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 and we're going to do some wild stuff. Look at our old ass games that came out five years ago, like The Last of Us Part Two. Look at our games that came out uh, recently, like s fucking uh, Spider Man that came out a year ago, not even recently. My apologies. And these are the games that's gonna really show you how credible that the PS5 Pro is gonna be. And I'm just sitting there like. None of what Sony said in that presentation when they announced this shit was was worth the asking price of what they were that they were trying to sell. Nothing, absolutely nothing. You're asking people to pay seven hundred dollars with no dish tray. That's the huge one. Seven hundred dollars, no dish tray. So. All the rumors about kind of like, hey, maybe the PS6 and the future console generations will remove disc trays is starting to be really apparent. So now you got to pay for an extra disc tray, which costs almost 80 bucks. Then you have to buy the vertical slant. So altogether, you're almost paying 80, 8, 8, 800. Now for me, I look at that and I'm like, that's some bullshit. Also, disclaimer, me personally, and I know this is going to piss a lot of people off. Me personally, I'm not too upset about the uh, the PS5 Pro not having a disc. Um, only because, personally for me, I mostly buy all my games digitally. Due to my living conditions, I really can't hold a lot of disc-based media stuff. So going digital and having the access to just be like okay i'm at playing the game right now okay i want to switch games okay just press a button go to the game that i want and then select it and it just boots right up it's way more easier than just getting up sticking a disc in and then going back putting the disc tray up and all that nonsense so it's more convenient for me however my greatest issue and this is something that i'm very fearful of the future of PlayStation, Nintendo, and also Xbox, is that game preservation. Um, 
I am very much a stickler for game preservation. I would rather go out and buy the physical media, whether it be digital or physical. I would rather go out and buy them than having to have to go through legal, unlegal means in order to play certain games. And it's like very annoying that we are living in a day and age where game preservation is not taken serious. The only person that seems to take it serious is Microsoft. But other than that, it is very hard for most, and I repeat, most games to get re-releases, get updates, uh, you know, and just be more accessible to play. There's a reason why so much people are so excited and happy about the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection because those games were locked through time and now they're finally available. And I just wish that more games would have that ability. And so to not have a disc tray or not say, hey, here's two PS5 Pros, one will have a um, disc tray, another one will not, really, really goes to show you how far we have kind of lost that way. And I'm even more concerned about the future because truth be told, these game developers and publishers like Sony don't have to put their games on sale. You are kind of at the mercy once you say you're going full digital, you're kind of at the mercy at whoever uh, platformer and whatever um, developer decides when is it time to do a game sale. In some cases, some developers don't even put their games on sale, you know, or take a very long time for them to put those games on sale. So again, I, I just worry not having that disc tray is really, really concerning and really, really damaging. But I'm looking at it and I'm like, Sony, PlayStation, you did nothing to earn that right to say that, hey, pay us 80 bucks for better upgraded versions of games. PlayStation didn't do that. Not to mention, you know, again, the games that they showed off were PS4, PS5 games that already look great. You have Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I couldn't even tell. The only reason, actually, the only reason I was able to tell the difference it's because recently I re-went and go and play Spider-Man 2 on New Game Plus. So I could tell if you look at the cars, there's ray trace reflection. But to be honest, do you need do you need ray trace and reflection in that game? Not really. The game looks fucking fantastic and gorgeous. And it loads like a motherfucker. You're in and you're you're in and you're out in that game. You're moving and sm and smoothing throughout that whole game extremely fast. You know, Last of Us Part Two re Remaster shit looks the same. Why the fuck didn't Sony get the Wukong developers and talk about hey how we are so happy for the PS5 Pro? Because now we're able to get the game to run at 60 frames per second, steady 60 frames per se second, with how graphically intense that game is. I've seen people play it, even on high end PCs. That game is literally like struggling a little bit because that game is so fucking powerful because it has so much effects and everything going on and it's rendered in such a high fidelity that is the only game recently i can generally say looks like a next generation game so it work it probably would require you a mid-gen relaunch but to be honest a lot of the playstation games look good they run pretty good for the most part they probably might be a few sections but they all look good they all run amazing Again, Ratchet and Clank, um, Rift, Rift Apart, looks like a fucking 4K, even in performance mode, looks like a 4K Pixar movie. It's like, what the f what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Really, nothing that they shown was, was worth that asking price that they're, that they're talking about. And then 
they had no real hook no real hook like like i would have thought they would have said we finally figured it out the big hook for this console is that we are going to have native ps1 2 and 3 be able to run on the ps5 pro that is the most only exclusive thing that we can offer for the ps5 pro they didn't even say that unlike the ps3 which cost the same amount of money back in the day the ps3 the original version the fat one had a bunch of shit it had native backwards compatibility on the ps on the ps2 and ps1 it, it had a bunch of blu-ray and a regular uh disc drive in there it had so much tools that to that sony had to take some of it out because it was so fucking expensive and nobody wanted to pay for it so again it's like what is sony talking about what are really what are you convincing who are you convincing this for like people say like this is for the like like the uh like the upper echelons the 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 diehards of playstation i'm a diehard of playstation even i'm looking at this like i'm like I'm, i'll get it but i'm like i don't need to get this right now like there's nothing on they're not even no any new games they announced for this shit that was like oh wow like this is why you want to get a ps5 pro matter of fact there's no games on the ps5 lately that has been worthy of even trying to be honest i know recently we got astrobot put astrobot shout outs to the astrobot team you know they they cooked they did their things the game is in a 90 plus shout outs to them that's fucking awesome but call a spade is fucking spade like nothing lately playstation has put out has been really honestly noteworthy like what the fuck are they what the fuck are they doing over there like where's the game there's no games over at playstation right now like and before anybody comes out whoa uh, this is a general uh, naughty dog doing this and, and circle punch is doing that and they shut the fuck up i'm tired of y'all fucking i'm tired of i'm tired of my own fan base i swear to god I, i'm so tired of the fucking playstation community all right they haven't shown a shit they haven't shown a shit. All right. I don't want to hear no bullshit when they're working on this, working on that. Motherfucker, show me something. They haven't shown us shit. All they've shown us is fucking Concord. And look what happened to that fucking game. So again, when you come to me and you talk about, well, is the PS5 Pro worth it? I'll be honest with you. No, there's nothing they've shown. And because PlayStation did a horrible job. This is the second L PlayStation has taken. Big L. This is a big L in my opinion. As soon as they, they get back on top with Astrobot, they take another huge L. Like This is not selling at, at any rate. Now, I do want to say, you know, for the people who's getting upset or mad at people who actually do want to purchase this shit, uh, all I got to say is, shut the fuck up your opinion doesn't really matter um be real be honest your opinion really doesn't matter i don't know why you caring about some other person and what they do with their money all right i, I just don't get that that's weird energy to me like if a person want to spend five thousand dollars on a new will let them do whatever they want to do they work hard for their money let them do what they want to do who am I to come and tell them person not to spend their hard on cash? I will tell them, however, and this goes for all my PlayStation brethren uh, that is only PlayStation, uh, that only play PlayStation. Why are you not investing in a gaming PC? And I'm not talking about these fucking play, these fucking PC elitist motherfuckers. That's like, well. <laughs> The, the fucking PS5 Pro will not be as powerful as a $800 PC. Motherfucker, don't leave or listen to any of those fucking cunts, all right? If you get an $800 PC, I'm telling you right now, that shit is not going to be powerful than no fucking PS5 Pro. I'm telling you that right now. As a place, uh, as a fucking 
PC gamer, I'm telling you right now, you have to spend a thousand plus dollars in order to get your system to run on a PS5, PS5 Pro level. The only way I can see them talking about $800 if that's your starting point and then later on you'll be able to upgrade that 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 to me makes sense because the genius of a pc getting into pc is that it's longer lasting than a console that you can constantly upgrade it add new parts to it and make it even better and stronger than a console because again pc parts come out every year so basically pc parts get outdated years later or so so you'll always be up to date more than a console but again I, I can understand if that's a daunting task but i have to ask since this shit is almost 800 900 we're getting into the thousand range which we all know if they talking about price tags like this that means ps6 is going to be kind of pricey on, on on this level why not invest in a pc games are coming to the pc playstation is investing in the pc market like you might as well jump for it again i'm just throwing that out there you could do whatever you want take that information as what you do but for the people who saying you don't need to spend your money or you're fucking stupid i saw somebody on twitter say saying that if you spend your money on this you're fucking stupid man shut the fuck up all right you ain't paying their bills you ain't paying their mortgage you ain't paying nothing for these motherfuckers you ain't handing them a fucking check so shut your fucking mouth with that being said now let's talk about developers developers will have more powers to deal with but i'm guarantee you and i'm already hearing like some some rumblings in the background and whatnot that some games are still going to run at a PS5 level. And that just, once again, brings me to my point. Do you really think some of these developers who have to work on, that's multi-plats, that have to work on a Series X, uh, a PS5, a uh, Series S, and now a PS5 Pro version, is going to have enough time or resources to focus on a PS5 Pro version of a game? No, that's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to fucking happen. A lot of these developers not going to have time for that shit. So be, be prepared. The only thing I see this console for is, again, those first party games that in-house games that's gonna take advantage of the ps5 pro but third parties eh, it's not it's gonna it's not gonna be required of them and and if it is be prepared to may have you may have to wait to get that upgraded version so again to wrap this video up i'm just gonna say i personally know what i'm gonna do with my money i'm gonna purchase it but for the love of god for the old love of christ i do not see any reason to purchase this shit this is why i won't be purchasing it no time soon sony dropped the fucking ball at x at really getting people hype and there was no hook for making anybody want to purchase this shit like i can't imagine you being excited for this shit because i'm not excited i'm just buying it because i want power I just want to just say I have it just for the shits and giggles, but to not have a drift tray, to not have a, a vertical stand. And then in some fucking countries, it's even, it, it literally is damn well thousand dollars. I just have to ask the question, why are we not just getting into gaming PC? At this point, what PlayStation is basically telling you, buy a gaming PC. Because if we spend in this amount of money for beer, I repeat, barely minor little minute upgrades you might as well join the pc gang it is what it is or better yet you better pray pray to the elder gods that the ps5 pro is going to have an enhanced edition for grand theft auto 6 that's the only way i can see this game this this shit being really 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 for gamers that's the only way i can see it that's the only way i can see how this would be worth 
the asking price because seven hundred dollars eight if you decide to get everything is a lot and motherfuckers don't have money for all that bullshit all right and even me who has money for this this ain't a this ain't this ain't a proposition i'm i'm willing to sign up for anytime soon with all that being said if you're new to the channel please comment rate subscribe all that fun stuff let me know what you think about the ps5 pro Comment below, let me know. And as always, stay tuned. More videos are on the way. It's your boy, Business Degenerate, signing out. Have a good one.